Hi friends, it's Judy and it's time for our next Bible verse, guardrail number 27. We're having fun learning the 36 verses of Wendy's Greater Freedom. This one's really, really important for us, for our kids, for our grandkids. It says, do not be yoked together with unbelievers. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. And see this husband and wife, they are yoked together. They are strong together. They are yoked together in unity. And to remember where it's found, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Well, look, there's two apple cores. So 2 Corinthians sticks above it. And then four tongs on that pitchfork into the tin. Four tin. 2 Corinthians sticks six. 14, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. So do not be yoked together with unbelievers, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. And that's a good decision to make. If you're not married yet, make that decision to choose to only follow, fall in love with and choose our relationships with those that share your love for the Lord Jesus Christ. So this one says, do not be yoked together. Here we go around the mulberry bush. How about that one? Ready? Let's take a look at this one. Do not be yoked together, together, together. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. One more time. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Let's take a look at Wendy's principle in action. Two people with different values or priorities won't accomplish much. Each will try to pull the other in their direction. Set this guardrail in place and you won't be tempted to date an unbeliever or partner with an unbeliever in a business venture. If, however, you're already unequally yoked in marriage, you may be able to win your spouse to the Lord by applying the principles found in this book. What a great reminder. So let's take a look at our verse again, the two apple cores. Right up here, 2 Corinthians, the sticks for the verse, chapter 6, and four, t four tongs on that fork in the tin, 14. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. When you see that clue of the bride and groom being yoked together, remember, do not be yoked together with unbelievers. 2 Corinthians 6, 14.